Let's start by mentioning that Africa is composed of more than 50 countries, and each country is composed of so many ethnic groups. So cultural diplomacy is very crucial in Africa to maintain peace. As we know, cultural diplomacy is soft diplomacy. Our borders sometimes cut across ethnic groups. So two countries uh, who share uh, people of an ethnic group may use uh, cultural diplomacy to soften, their, to soften their stance and to negotiate peace. And that's what's happening now in the Sudan. It happened in the 1960s between Somalia and Kenya, where on both sides of the border, uh, Somalis were the major ethnic community. So to use cultural diplomacy, uh, Africa can be able uh, to promote peace as well as development. Uh, relations between Tanzania and China historically goes back, back to the days of uh, merchants and traders from the East who used to travel to the East African coast. But it was after independence when China and Tanzania got very close. It all began by the first visit of the father of the nation of Tanzania and the first president, Julius Nyerere, who visited Beijing in 1964. And at first, he didn't ask uh, economic aid. It was uh, cultural relations between China and Tanzania in the area of Chinese uh, training Tanzanian acrobats inviting Chinese cultural troops to Tanzania, and then that was followed by scholarships offered by China for Tanzanian students to go to China to study uh, mainly medicine and specialization of Chinese uh, traditional medicine. And that's where, that's when we began to establish a joint a uh, traditional medicine center in Dar es Salaam, which is doing a very good job in the area of, of making sure that we use uh, traditional medicine in China and in Tanzania and to mix that uh, to find out uh, experimental basis to manufacture our own drugs particularly uh, to cure diseases such as AIDS and, and Ebola as well. Tanzanian cultural music uh, has been very vibrant because Tanzania is composed of so many, about 130 ethnic groups, and each cultural group had its own uh, music. Uh, so this was a, a healthy place to host uh, uh, Chinese uh, cultural experimentation. And that's why Chinese, from the beginning, uh, brought to Tanzania uh, students in the area of culture and the language. And that has been happening, it's been happening uh, even uh, since then, even now, and it's, we have gone s very far ahead by China establishing Confucius centers, Chinese cultural centers in several universities, which include Odomo University, Dar es Salaam University, Zanzibar University, and Tanzania establishing a center to teach Kiswahili and Tanzanian culture to Chinese in Beijing. As I mentioned earlier, cultural diplomacy is a soft diplomacy. So 
uh, it really, it really helps uh, nations and governments uh, to pursue their national interests in a better way than confrontational uh, diplomacy. So cultural diplomacy, at the end of the day, will be uh, the base of our diplomacy uh, within Africa and between Africa and the wider world as well.